Welcome in, Patriot fans. We come to you from Millbrook, Alabama, home of the Mustangs and Stanhope Elmore High School, and the Homewood Patriots in the second round of the 5A state playoffs. And after a big victory last week at home against the Paul Bright Stampede, and the Patriots had a big victory 31 to 7 against them. There's a great shot of tonight's captain, Stan the Man Galbraith, number 51, Michael Thompson, number 59. Aaron Sackman failed, number 46, and along with a double deuce. Steve Freeman, what a great four seniors those guys are. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to a big night tonight, aren't we, Larry and Jody? Sure are. Uh, Tim had been here since 1986, and uh, that was the third round of the playoffs, won 10 to 8. And uh, I happened to be on that team, and uh, this place hadn't changed a bit. <laughs> a lot of people here, big, big football environment down here. Tell you what, we've played them twice, beat them both times last year. We beat them in the fourth round right before we go to the finals, 38-22. And uh, tonight we're carrying in a 16-game win streak, so a lot on the line here tonight. Yeah, I, I hate to say this, but in 86, I was here watching that ball game, and what a game it was as the Patriots held off the Mustangs inside the one-yard line for about two straight, two or three straight plays. And, Jody, like I said, you were there and a big part of it. It was, it was good to be here. Coach Sheets and I were talking about Coach Jones here, Coach Newton, but those are that was in the past. I'm looking forward to this team coming out right here. And uh, this team played us real good. Stand up Elmore last year. It was a very physical game, and uh, they're looking forward to us. Uh, number one team in the state coming in. The, the Patriots are 11 and 0, the number one ranked team in 5A. And you know we talked a little bit about last week, and we have our Jim and Nick's Players of the Week last week, and our Offensive Player of the Week last week. Larry was who? Steve Freeman, number 22, our star running back. 19 rushes last week, 159 yards, 8.4 yard average. Two touchdowns, led the team just like he always does. And uh, of course, I think for the season, Steve's got 20 touchdowns and uh, does a great job for us. What a great young man, good character and everything. Congratulations, Steve Freeman. Yeah, absolutely. And Jody, our defensive player of the week for Jim and Nicks was who? Well, that's an easy one. Number 46, Aaron Feld, he's been Almost defensive player of the year. Uh, for the year, he has 11 sacks, two shy of the school single season record. He's has five forced fumbles on the year. But last week alone, Larry and Tim, he had 10 tackles, six solo, four assists, uh, many quarterback pressures, and just an overall team leader and a physical specimen out on the field and uh, captain tonight. So uh, congratulations, Mr. Feld. One of that special group of this Homewood Patriot team, and they're a very special group. And uh, – you know, we do appreciate Jim and Nick's and all they do for us and uh, the Homewood school system and the city of Homewood. We really appreciate them. And uh, there's a great shot of our captains. Uh, Tell you what, let's, let's get to the offensive starting lineup here tonight. Let's see who we got. Michael Thompson, senior tackle and a captain tonight. Jarvis King, junior guard, having an outstanding year. Bo Dean, the big man in the middle and does it all. Daniel Mathingani is a senior. Two-year starter at guard and does a great job. David Ross, our all-state tackle. Our receivers, Tim Hawthorne, who's had a fabulous year, did last year too. Will Cole, the man that gets behind everybody, and I'm looking for him behind them tonight. And Wilson Boardman, big tight end, had an outstanding year as well. Ladarius Woods, great job here. Steve Freeman, captain tonight. Austin Hubbard, all-state, super all-senior quarterback. And Tyler Robbins, who's been absolutely fabulous all year. And uh, what a balance we have between he and Hawthorne. Those are our offensive starters. We're going to go right to our defense. And here we go, starting defense in a great defensive unit they are. And let's start with, uh, DJ, oh, there we go, Aaron Feld, senior, Robert Gentry, senior, Corderis oh. Rogers, senior, Dominique Porter, senior, best down lineman in the state as a group, DJ Taylor, David Green, Sam Berry, and Stan Galbraith, fine linebacker core in the state. Then our DBs, Kenny Baker, Michael Alber, Daniel Hayes, uh, Scott Lee, and, uh, and many others. So uh, there's Brad there as well. We miss Brad. And, uh, big game. We got fireworks going on, Tim and Larry, so let's go. Our defense is who's going to be on the field first. Uh, I think they we won the toss and maybe deferred it to the second half, and our defense will be out on the field. And there's a great shot of the fireworks, and they are – excited down here at the 5A playoffs in Millbrook, Alabama. Well, I'll tell you what, they get the fireworks before the game, and during the game, wait till our offense gets a hold of them. We're going we're gonna to complete some long passes here tonight, it's my prediction. You can always make history when you play the number one ranked team, and exciting to that. And 
Let's, let's get a quick shot of our varsity cheerleaders. All right, Lacey Mann, senior captain cheerleader. Mallory Watson, co-captain senior. Heather Morgan, senior. Haley Dyke, senior. Then there's Caitlin Creed, a senior. Meredith Stinson, a senior. Sarah Funderburk, a senior. Brooke Lorino, a junior. Then Christina Gillespie, a junior. Jasmine Hoskins, a junior. Stephanie Irwin, a junior. Cameron Lassiter, a junior as well. And then Keegan Ballinger, a junior. Brandy Lewis, a junior. Quincy Marlin, a junior. And Finney Giatina, a junior. Good group of young ladies. They've been working hard since seven this morning, decorating lockers and everything. Yeah, they were working late last night. What a great job Maggie Stofferton and Ms. Hare do, the sponsors of the cheerleaders. Miss Drake, too, Holly Drake. Holly Drake. Yeah, yeah, they do an outstanding job. Well, there's a good shot of our kicker. Mr. Daniel Hayes, number 10, the senior, fixing to kick off here. And uh, got a little smoke in the air, a lot of excitement here in Bill Brooks. Tell you what, a pretty loud crowd across the way. Let's see if our defense can take their crowd out of it early here. Jim Larry, biggest crowd they've had at San Jose Elmore. Their principal was surprised by the number of students they had show up. They hadn't had a big crowd all year, but they're packing the house tonight. Our kickoff team, Mike Stonewall, 48, Dominique Porter, Cortez Slaughter, Kenny Baker, Scott Lee, Kenneth Dorsey, Hayes with a short kick, takes a bounce, picked up at about the 20. And there's a hole, and a Hayes with a tackle out at about the 49-yard line where the Mustangs will have it first and 10. Daniel Hayes, no stranger to making tackles at his free safety spot. And a big play right there, touchdown saving tackle. Guys, they got athletes to burn here at San Jose Elmore. They are fired up. Tell you what, Daniel Hayes, you never made a bigger tackle than that because if he didn't do it, uh, that guy's taking it to the house. Got a terrific quarterback over here. He used to be a wide receiver, and this young man can run the football. Well, the Mustangs have it first down and 10, 49 yard line. Got the draw play. Got the corner. And a tackle out on the side by Stan to Man Galbraith. Taking it outside on the corner, guys. They kind of run that wheel option. It's a long, strung out option. They'll do each side. They're going to work our defensive ends and try to tie our linebackers running side to side and hit it up the middle. But uh, come on, D line. Pretty good play on first down. They gained almost seven yards there. So, second and a long three. Second down for the Mustangs. High formation. Straight drop, looking for the quick out. Complete. And there's a nice play out here by Scott Lee. So it's going to be right at the mark. Good solo tackle by number two, six, Scott Lee. Kept him for a short game, kept him in front of him, didn't get any yards after the catch. No yaks on Scott Lee's side. Well, it's close enough they're going to have to make a measurement here early, but. Uh, that's a pretty dangerous pass to throw for two or three yards. And, uh, you know, I, Scott Lee sees that a couple times. He may break in front and say, hey, how about cover behind yeah. me here one well, time? Let me take a chance. Larry, Tim, what's the rule on chop blocking? Because they were all over Aaron on that play there. Is, is that legal in high school? Inside the box you can, but uh, well, uh, not, not the backs. Okay. Well, first down by the Mustangs. Right at about the 40. So it'd be first down and 10 once again. You know, we didn't talk, we didn't talk a little about it though. This Patriot team averaging 41.8 yards on offense to 7.8 on defense. They're all both for school records. Yeah, that's a record both ways for this team. First down at 10. Fake, fake the draw. Stan hey. got him for a big sack at midfield. Well, that was right there in front of us, guys. Aaron Feld coming off the corner, just blew that play up. Here he comes, unblocked, big mistake. Dan and Galbraith. Stan also ties down that quarterback, uh, fake handoff there. Big play, Stan Galbraith, and, uh, buddy, we needed one. Now we're looking at our kind of distance here, second and almost 20. Second and about 19, here's a great shot. The front four there, the Patriots, and like Jody said, I'm not sure there's four any better. Now. Trip to the near side. Shotgun formation. Rolling to his right. Throwing back to the far side. Screens. Mike
Michael Oliver with a tackle at about the 40. Good play call on San Jose Belmore's part. Larry, Tim, this uh, coach for San Jose Belmore, Mr. Foshi, his dad was a coach here back in the 80s, and, and Jeff is his name. He played at Alabama. It was a walk-on. I think he got a scholarship, but he knows his football. So, Well, they well scouted there. That was a good-looking play, and it was set up well, and uh, really uh, he could have gained a few more yards. That was a huge that. play by Michael Oliver. You know, he's out there on the island as the safeties are yep. and uh, made a big play. It's going to be third down and about nine. Michael's been stepping it up the last couple of weeks. Straight drive. On, a lot baby. of pressure. Failed there you go. Nice job. DJ Taylor cleans him up. Cordaris Rogers. Yeah, Cordaris. Watch, watch this replay. Cordaris fights him out. Swim technique. Gentry. Gentry. Yeah. Pushed his man down, got through, and. Uh, Going to be fourth down at about 15. Y'all said it, but it took all four of them to make that sack, and uh, they are the best defensive line around. Punt formation, Tyler Robbins, the junior, is at the 10-yard line. Nice snap. Get out of here, good kick. Robbins catches it about the nine. Balls out. Mustangs come up with it at about the 20. Is this 1986? But uh, that's all right, Tyler. Hold your head up, big boy. You'll get another chance. Come on, D. Get back out there and get a stop. 35-yard punt and uh, had a pretty decent return going, but they knocked that ball up. Yeah, let's see if we can maybe see that again. I think the helmet on the ball, and uh, Tyler did a good job. That, that's going to happen. Yeah, as long as why don't you go on full speed? You know, there's going to be athletic plays made on both sides of the field. So, good job of not letting him get pinned back deep. That's just good hit. Good hit on their part. First down at 10. Give to the tail. There you go. Also about three by D.J. Taylor. Boy, speed, speed, speed. He has come alive in the playoffs. Watch D.J. Taylor. All right, at the end. One-on-one, -on -one, D.J. Taylor wins that battle. Good job, D.J. We've been talking about D.J. for the past three, three or four weeks, and he is getting better and better each game, and what a great player he is, as his whole defense is. Well, you're right, Tim. He's been good all year, but now he's, he's stepped it up, and now he's great, and he's done outstanding work in the last three or four weeks. Second down and about 14. Ball back at the 24. <laughs> uh, yeah, they... They're knocking each other down. They're lucky to hold on to that one. Well, I'd be nervous, too, facing that Homewood defense, but that quarterback's so low to the ground, he can't see what's going on. Well, I so. tell you what, though, when 41, that was a good, clean tackle by 41, and that's a that's a tackle for a loss trucks there. Trucks, right him down, right him down, number 41, Trucks. 41 red. The leading tackler for Stando Belmore thus far tonight, Larry. We'll take all the help we can get. Third down, 14, 7, 21, and counting here in the first quarter. No score. Great drop. Got to throw the out. This quick screen. Cut back. Oh. David Green with a first lick. Great recognition there. Linebackers stay at home a little bit more. I think that's going to be their trick play, that screen. And uh, good tackle, David Green. 41 again, but this time in a white shirt. Nice movement to the ball there, David Green. Dominique Porter on the full blitz and then gets back and cuts him back in to David Green and he cleans it up. So the Mustangs are on to attempt a field goal, a 40 yard attempt. Or 39. Just in front of the line, yeah, 39. Good snap. Kick is up. And it is true, so the Mustangs. Break on the board, 3-0 with 6.24 remaining here in the first quarter. Well, all things considered, the field goal is an excellent job by the defense. Offense hadn't even been on the field yet. Come on, offense. I agree. I concur. And uh, when it go deep? Start, on, start first down on 20. You lose four yards. So that's a pretty good job. By, great job by our defense. Kicking game is always important, guys. And, of course, right now, I guess we're losing the kicking game. They almost run the opening kickoff back and then the punt in their favor. So, uh, you know, defense has done outstanding, but the kicking game is dominant right now. You know what I'm excited about? The band they got here. We had some buzz problems. The band's a little late. So, uh, the Homewood cheer squad just got a little bit bigger, guys. Come on, defense. 
I mean offense. Kickoff coverage. <laughs> I need a ball to do well. How about kickoff return? Oh, that too. Back deep for the Patriots. Number three, Jim Hawthorne. Yarborough. Woods on the second line. Freeman, Robbins, and Remis all on the third line. Front line is Morrow, Justin and Jarvis King, Calsey and Boardman. Nice kick, high kick. Coming back down about the one. Tim Hawthorne, one guy. He's past one, he's at the 30. He's at the 40, run out of bounds at about the 45 is Tim Hawthorne. Boy, nice return there, Hawthorne, and great blocking. But, man, I'm going to tell you what, some people have more athletic ability than others. Watch, one-on-one, -on -one, and he's outside him, and he never even gets him. I mean, he barely finger touches him, and that's great running there, Tim Hawthorne. Good blocking nice down block Darius. Nice blocking Darius Woods downfield. First down, balls at the 46-yard line for the Patriots. Bodine, your center. Hubbard and Freeman in the backfield. Keeper by Hubbard. He gains about two, so it'll be second down and eight. That's a good thing to see. Austin Hubbard doing fine, and he looks like he's fully recovered. Yeah, planting his foot, that ankle that was bothering that, he pushed off on it, so that's good. Uh, Santa Belmore's got a full arsenal to defend against tonight. Well, and I think we're sending him a message. He's fine. I know they scouted us, and they know, but uh, he's fine. Two back offense here. Robbins, Freeman in the back. Straight give to Freeman, about four more. All right, good good blocking on that right side, and uh, we're going to pick up about four or five here, and uh, good line search. Look at Daniel Matthew, got to stay on his guy. Good job, guys. Two guards, Jarvis King, Daniel Mathagani, Michael Thompson, David Ross, you tackles, Bodine, your center. Double back set with Robbins and Freeman, third and three. Straight give to Freeman. And a nice play. So he's back to the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be third down and short. No, he's short. Big decision here. Do you go for it or do you punt it right back after three and out? And it looks like we're going to kick this ball. Great job by Stan Hope Elmore. Nice tackle. Fourth down. Balls at the 46 yard line. Will Cole, number four, the punter. Aaron Fell, the snapper. Baker and, and Taylor, your sprinters on the side. Cole with a good kick. high Come kick. On. Takes a homewood bounce uh, at about the 20. Uh, about a 25 yard punt, but no return. But and now we got an 80 yard field to defend. So come on defense. Here we go. Back out there into the fray again, but hey. There's a great shot of Robert Gentry, number 50. Cordaris Rogers, number 68, you two defensive tackles. Dominique Porter right there, number 87, defensive end, along with the other defensive end, Aaron Fell, right there. Your linebackers are David Green, Stan Galbraith, DJ Taylor. Straight give, right up the middle. Michael Oliver, along with Gentry. There you go, Michael Oliver, way to stand your ground. Big hit there, one-on-one -on -one tackle again. Watch his clogging it up at the middle, force him outside. Well, he does a good job picking his hole, picks up about five yards, and uh, not not it, it was clogged up, but he did a good job picking the hole. Cord Cordaris Rogers also in on the tackle. Second down and six. This is a well coached and uh, and a pretty good looking Stan Hope Elmore team. Quarterback looking to throw. Right there. Got a lot of pressure oh, coming go. this way. Ooh, big hit. Nice play, Scott Lee. And hey guys, defensive uh, coverage sack right there, or sack or scramble. They, they Linebackers had them all tied up in the curl routes out here. Stan and then uh, Michael Oliver coming up and uh, he had to run for his life there. Great, well, great Gentry, play. Gentry flushes him. Well, Gentry got clipped too there, the block in the back at the end of that where the guy was pushing him. But uh, that's the play that scares me the most. This quarterback can scramble. Nice play, Scott Lee. 
Third down in a yard, 3-12. Remaining in the first quarter, 3-0 lead by the Mustangs. Straight give to the fullback, D.J. Taylor. He's short. David Green right there. First down, them. yeah, he's over the line. He started at the 20. That's a big hit, big hit on defense. Number 72 in the game, guys, Mr. Daly. Cameron Daly in the game for Corderas. Corderas had a little shoulder injury last week at our home game and uh, nursed it this week. We're glad to see him back out there along with Wilson Boardman who got a little dinged up last week. I think his shoulder's fine, but we have we have rotated him in every four downs anyway. First down and 10. Cameron Daly with the first lick. Gentry long with Galbra. That's a little more of what we're used to seeing there, Larry. Just uh, a snap and a inch gain. But uh, look at that defensive line surge. Dan Daly, Daly in Daly. there, yeah. He, he's Fresh big, legs. Big player on that play. Cameron down in 10. Cameron's done a good job for us all year long. Yeah. Your two cornerbacks are Kenny Baker, along with Scott Lee, number 26. Safeties are Daniel Hayes and Michael Oliver. Offset eye. Yep. Trying to get the corner. There's nothing there. Except That's a bunch like of white that. jerseys. David Green, Robert Gentry in there. Kenny Baker coming up. That's a little more like it, guys. Big third down here. Big third down. Third down and 10. Passing down for the Mustangs. Like you said, Larry. Him, he sure can run. Great shot of D.J. Taylor right there. Well, if he's pitching in the air, he's got to throw more than a little two or three yarder this time. Let's see what he does. There's the draw play. Coming to the outside. Kenny Baker, the first lick. Nice play by Kenny. And guys, that's why we'll win big games, because speed on defense is unbelievable. Watch the close on this. Stan fights off. What, who comes up? Is that Scott Lee coming Kenny up? Kenny Baker. Kenny Baker and Scott Lee. Yeah. Great speed on defense. They swarm to the ball, and that's what it takes as we're in the last seconds of the first quarter. Fourth down at about five. Ball's at the 35-yard line. Robbins back at the 30. High snap. Little pressure that time. Nice high kick. Robbins right at the 30. Coming up the sideline, Tyler oh, Robbins oh, with a big move, one guy, and he's gonna. The punter's gonna wrestle it down at the 30. There we go. I told you, Larry, Tim, he'd make up for it right there. And what a brave catch! I mean, that guy was about to tattoo him, and he 35-yard punt. And uh, I'm gonna say the return is just about. It's a little bit longer than that. It's a 40-yard return. Yeah. Nice job by Tyler Robbins. Lot high kick, a lot of concentration there. Like, had a little pressure right on him. Very few people would not have fair caught that. Back to live action, Glenn. There you go. Hubbard rolling to his left, looking for Hawthorne. Throws the out at about 12 yards and a first down. Well, that's what you go to to get your rhythm back. Go to you know, Hubbard to Hawthorne, what always works. Yeah, pretty good pass protection there. And uh, boy, he throws a rocket in there and it looks like it's nothing to it. There's a lot to it, but those guys are so good. Very nice job. Trips the far side, Cole Boardman and Robbins. Hawthorne, the single receiver to the near side. Option this way out to Robbins. And he's not gonna get much there. Well, that looked like something Jody and I drew up in the huddle there on the dirt. Uh, That's so. right. You know what? Because we're setting them up for something. Throwback to Hubbard's what we're setting up. There you go. That's <laughs> the end of the first quarter, and that was a quick quarter. Five offensive snaps, guys. That's all we had that quarter. So a great job our defense. So the end of the first quarter, 3-0 Mustang League. We're going to take a break here. Listen to our friends at Dawson Memorial Baptist Church. If you were given a gift that could change the world, how far would you go to share it? With those nearest to you? All around the city? Across the country? Or even to the ends of the earth? 
Let us know how we can share the gift of God's love with you. Join us this Sunday at Dawson. We appreciate our friends at Dawson Memorial Baptist Church. We're going to take another break. Listen to our friends at Pepsi Cola. Turn me up. I can feel the joy all around. generation has Think young. So back to live action. Ball is second down and about 12 at the 20. For the Patriots, trips to the far side. Hawthorne to the near side. Go, go, thought they go throw it up for Tim. Ball goes up and goes incomplete. There is a flag in the back of the end zone. Yeah, we're going to have a pass interference call there. So uh, let's see if we don't. It should be half the distance to the goal, which will put it just inside the 10-yard line, but it will be an automatic first down. It's not enough yardage-wise, but it's an automatic first down. So let's watch that again, Glenn, see if we can see it in the back of the end zone. There it is. Good play, Austin, throwing it up there. You got to let your athlete go up and get the ball, guys. Hubbard to Hawthorne. That's what we need to come back. And man, what athletic ability and yeah. He put his hand right in front of our face, man, so we can't see. Well, we got to lose the ball just inside the 10. So it's first down and goal to go. Trips to the far side. Boardman in it tight end. Freeman gonna lose a couple right there. Well, they, they blitz that DB from the outside there, unblocked. Uh, again, good coaching on their end, but uh, New look there, had Ross at guard, so let's see if he's trying to pop it up the middle. He's played guard before. Has he? Okay. Yeah. There's a good shot of Wilson Boardman and the offensive line. Our 25-second oh. clock does not work. They got one, but it doesn't work. Well, it's because it's got Coca-Cola on. If they had the Pepsi sponsor like we do, it'd work. <laughs> Give to Freeman. He's got inside to about the five goes Steve Freeman. Well, he took some people with him because they had hands around his waist at about the 10 here. Let's watch this again. You know, running back, some of them are fast, some of them are powerful. How about both? He had him about to 12, and Freeman makes seven yards with a man dragging him around there. Good play, Steve Freeman. They're really rushing from that back side, Larry, running around the blocks and uh, running straight to the ball. So. Double tight end set with Hawthorne and Boardman. Robbins to the near side, Cole to the far side. Cole running the slant, touchdown! Oh! Woo! The little man did it again, and I tell you what, the guy has seven touchdowns in 14 catches for the year. Half the time he catches the ball, he scores a touchdown. That is awesome. Let's watch this again. Great concentration here by Will Cole. Linebacker up and a nice job by Austin Hubbard. Boy, next time Tim Hawthorne's wide open. Daniel Hayes on to attempt the extra point. It's up. And it is good. So the Patriots with 10 28 here in the second quarter, 7 3 lead. I don't know if I've ever seen a receiver score seven touchdowns and have 14 receptions before. Half the time he catches the football, he scores a touchdown. That's unreal. Yeah, I want him on my fantasy football team, Larry. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, boy, what a pass. Because, see, the linebacker flashes in front. If he don't throw that ball that high, the linebacker gets it. So, uh, nice play both ways. There, there's my favorite team, Tim and Larry, the cheerleaders. I thought you were going to go down there and do the – Push-ups with them tonight, Jody. I sprained on my shoulder. Ed. Okay. Ugh. Oh, my shoulder. Hey, good-looking uniform. Some more new good-looking uniform. I'll tell you what. Yeah, jackets, those windbreakers, new pom-poms. They got going good there. Way to go, girls. Daniel Hayes on the kickoff for the Patriots. Michael Oliver. Eddie McClung, DJ Taylor, Michael Causey, Kenneth. Hurricane Dorsey, Scott Lee, Cortez Slaughter, Dominique Porter, 
High kick at about the 10. And he's out to about the 27 yard line. Very nice uh, coverage on the kickoff there. So we're starting to get the kick game back in our favor here. Good job. DJ and is that Dorsey or Yarbrough out there? Dorsey. Hurricane. Well, the Patriots go five plays, 40 yards, and a five-yard touchdown pass from Hubbard to Cole. First down and 10, straight drop, a lot of pressure. He flushes him. Comes back and makes a play as Dominique Porter. He, he flushes him, and then he comes back yeah. and makes a well, tackle. That guy keeps doing those little fake punts, and we're going to tattoo him. He's going to fumble that thing. That punch passes. Back to what I say, punts. <laughs> I thought you did. Dominique pumps, is so pumps. fast. <laughs> he, look how fast Dominique is. He does flush him, like Tim said. Goes back over and catches him, throws him down. Great play, Dominique. Jody, you've been saying it, speed kills, and Dominique Porter proved yeah. it right there. He's got it. Second down in the long 10. Double receivers to the near side. Straight gip. And oh. Woo! Oh. Uh, Sam Barry. Sam, Sam Barry, my goodness. Bam, Sam Barry. Everybody says, if he hits you, you're going to feel it. And watch this. It's a deep leader. Whoa. He knocks the tight end off, and the tight end's the biggest guy they got out there. Sam smacks him, Sa then goes over and absolutely That's right. makes the guy. Sam the Bam, Barry. Bam, bam. Second, third down in about eight. Sam Barry in. At your middle linebacker spot, Galbraith and Taylor on the outside. Third down and eight. Straight drop. Jamal Smith with a oh, foul, oh, with a fumble. Oh, Jamal oh, Smith oh. with a fumble recovery. Aaron fell. Sack fell, gets a sack, and he gets a fumble. Uh, calls a fumble. And uh, Jamal, Jamal Smith, Smith got the fumble recovery. Fumble. Watch this replay fell. here. Jamal Smith with the fumble recovery. Aaron, Aaron coming from the fell. back side. There you go. I told you the guy was doing those fake punts, pumps, whatever, and he'd feed fumble it. Way to go, Aaron. Sack number 12. First down and 10 for the Patriots, 17 yard line. Trips to the far side. Straight give to Freeman. On, Going for the corner. And he's not much there. Surprise, they got some speed as well on defense, guys. They're not going to let us pop it outside. So that's all right, we'll go between the tackles. Make them feel it a little bit and let Austin throw it down the field. Yeah, that was a nice defensive play there. Looked like uh, no game. Trip to the near side. Hawth Hawthorne, Cole, and Robbins. Boardman to the far side. Hubbard rolling to the trips. Looking for Robbins. He catches it. And he's inside the about the three. Nice first down, beautiful pitch and catch there. The receiver does a good job getting open, and Austin takes enough time to pick out his man, and look at this beautiful, and he throws a rocket in there, but it's coming back. We got a flag. I got, we'll see the call, but he had all day to throw it. Well, I never did see the call. It's obviously he's doing it over there, holding or yeah, blocking holding. the back. Or Justin King in it, guard. Matt Rebels in it, tackle. Second down at about 25. Hubbard going to the trip side, looking to throw. Ball's oh. tip. There's that speed we were talking about on their side of the ball. Linebacker gets in the way, and he's got enough speed to uh, move just a little bit and get that hand up. So good, good defensive play by Stanhope. Third and long here. Let's see if we can get down close enough for a field goal. Yeah, I feel a little Hawthorne action coming up, Larry. Ball's all the way back at the 31-yard line. The first down will be at the seven. Trips to the far side. Boardman to the near side. Rolling toward the trips once again. 
Got time. He throws it across the middle to Hawthorne. He breaks a couple of tackles, and he's going to be at about the 12. Wow, that's a, a pretty big gain there, but uh, we had to get down to around the nine-yard line, so uh, we're going to have to kick a field goal. That was a good gain, though. It got us down there in field goal position. Good pitch, good catch, and nice blocking up front. Yeah, if you need sure yards, you go to number three, Hubbard Hawthorne. I mean, it's like a broken record, but there he is, wide open. And going north and south, yards after the catch. That's what you need. And uh, here we go, Daniel. Daniel Hayes on the attempt, the field goal. Scott Lee with your hole, Aaron failed with a snap. Nice kick, and it's up and good. So it's a 10 to three Patriot lead, 7.08 remaining for half. Looked like about a 30 yarder. I couldn't tell if it was in front of the line or behind it. Let's watch that again and get the exact. It's gonna be a 29 yard field goal, and a beautiful job by the field goal unit. All of them failed. Scott Lee and, of course, Hayes. Nice job, big man. And Hayes, Mr. Automatic, almost inside the 39, guys, for the year. So uh, pretty reliable, come a long way. Seven for 10, 70%. Uh, there's not a head coach in the world that won't take a field goal kicker and kick 70%. Yeah, ask Tuberville about that. Tuber Tuberville. Yeah. Is that your head coach here at Homewood High School? No. Nah, oh. No. Newton will take it, too. He's a better coach than Tuberville. I'm talking about when you played. No, that was Coach Gann. I'll leave that one alone. Thank you very much. Daniel Hayes on the kickoff. High kick. Going to get it in about the 22. And he's out to about the 35-yard line. There we go, there he is. Is that the Hurricane Dorsey you got on that one, guys? And 55, always down there. There goes our defense. I tell you, the defense made some nice hits that time. Uh, Sam, big hitter, Barry smacked them, and then Sackfeld came in there and, and broke that ball loose for us. Well, I tell you what, Aaron's a great Sackfeld, but he's the best long snapper in the state as well, which needs Absolutely. to be you know, commended. First down at 10, balls at the 34-yard line. Oh, Not a movement. Get him. Get him. There you go. <laughs> That's Wait. the old slow motion play. That's about how quick I was back in my day. Let's hey. watch this again. Yeah, hey, you know what? And I felt like it was an Alabama game. You know how you're at an Alabama game, Larry? Because everybody goes, get him, get him. Just like that. <laughs> get him. I'm going to leave that one alone. Yeah, I had to say it. I had to say it. Well, I mean, they almost let the play go and the guy run for a touchdown just because it's they think it's offsides. That was a good play. Second down and about 14. Balls at the 30-yard line. Offset eye for the Mustangs. Straight give. Trying to jump outside. Kenny Baker forces it back. Michael Oliver. DJ Taylor. And who else? And He's on the by Sam the. Barry, right? Sam, bam, bam, Barry. We're knocking each other hard out there, and a little flag on the field. Yeah, we got to hold it on the offensive team as they hold. Yeah, they tackle nice there. tackle on the field, so. Uh, I'd tackle him too. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to decline that. The loss was good enough. I guarantee I'd tackle him. You can't block him. Third, third down. Checking in the game for the Patriots. Number 90, Cody Rogers, a sophomore, defensive end. Jamal Smith, number 78. Jody, did you bring your dog with you tonight? It is a wild animal. Yeah, who let the dogs out? I think Miss Fell did. Cage him up. Third and about 18. Shotgun formation. Come on. Come Aaron, Aaron with Come pursuit. On, Aaron. There he goes. Ties. Ties. Number 13 tied for the single season record. Congratulations, Aaron Feld. Watch this, coming up by the nose guard position. Fights off that center. And there's that fake pump again that that guy likes to do. He's worn that out. Way to go, Aaron Feld. Nice job by Aaron Feld. There he is. Tyler Robbins back at the 45 yard line. 521 and counting here. Right before half, 10-3, Patriot lead. Low snap, pressure, he gets it off. High kick, Robin 
before we got the ball. It's a fair catch interference. Now we got a couple of options here. We can take an awarded fair catch right there or they can go back to the line of scrimmage and penalize them half the distance to go. Make them punt it again. Well, I tell you what, Tyler, class act there, big man. He got up, took the hit, gave the ball back to the ref and hey, walked off. Robbins just gets, gets his work pouch and goes to work. He, yep. He's here to play football. Tough but as nails. That's not a dirty play. That's unfortunate. The guy got down there and thought that he could time it right when the ball got there, and he was just a little early. I don't I don't consider that a dirty play. It's just that's bad just, timing. That's just a gamble you take, and uh, you got you got to either call the fair catch or well, that's how y'all used to play. That's how you used to play at Ramsey, huh, Larry? <laughs> yeah, once in a while it happened like that, yeah. <laughs> so the offense is going to take over at the 46-yard line. Okay, coach declined the penalty and took it right there. So that's right. That's Double receivers each side. Andrew Jackson in the game with Hawthorne to the near side. Robbins and Boardman to the other side. Straight drop from Hubbard. Hawthorne from about nine. Breaks one tackle. And he's loose. Down to about the 30 goes Tim Hawthorne. Beautiful pass, but uh, what a run after the catch. Way to go, big Tim Hawthorne. Let's watch this again. Yeah, as the year's going on, yards after the catch, way to go all day for Austin. Makes it look easy, but that's a strike. North and South making one miss, makes two, two miss, three. three. Andrew's blocking and takes the fifth guy to round him up. So way to go, Tim Hawthorne. Ladarius Woods in the game at tailback. Give to Woods, going to the outside. He cuts it back. And it's not much there. So back to the line of scrimmage for Woods. Yeah, this is about what we saw on film. It, uh, they were pretty good against the run, but they were susceptible to a pass. And uh, so far we've had trouble running and we've done well with the pass. So let's keep throwing that ball. Yeah, they're not letting us outside. They got speed. They're, they're, they're beating us to the punch on the corners, but uh, we'll make some halftime adjustments. Hubbard rolling towards the trips. Robbins with a sit down, and what a great oh. catch! Inside the 20 by Tyler Robbins. What protection. I mean, there's nobody even thinking about rushing the passer here. Look at the all day, he throws a rocket out there. Beautiful catch, so Tyler. Nice job. Good good camera work here, guys. I didn't think you got stick them on those fingers, because man. It's illegal. <laughs> we got a timeout here. We got a timeout on the field, 10-3 Patriot lead, 4-15 remaining before the half, and we're going to take a break. Malcolm Auto. I must say that in all my years, I have never seen such a pitiful display. The word disappointing doesn't quite describe the performance we see here tonight. The resources were available, but they didn't get the job done. Okay, that's enough. Look, I told you not to take it to one of those quick loop places. Now we're all late for the game. This one's all over, folks. I can see the fat lady warming up now. Hey, we appreciate Robbie Malcolm and Malcolm Otto had lunch with him today, and we talked a lot of football today. And uh, he's he's up in Aniana watching his son play, and he's. I'll call him at halftime and he'll check on the Patriots. So we appreciate Malcolm Otto there in the curve on Central Avenue. So we're back to live action. First down and 10. The ball's at about the 16 yard line. Bodine is your center. Justin and Jarvis King, your two guards. Thompson and Ross, the tackles. There's a give, draw coming back this way to Ladarius Woods. And he's two or three yards. Wilson Boardman with a nice block. Nice run by Ladarius. Look, good blocking over here on this right side and a nice five yard pickup. Yeah, but get, going to Ladarius, a little more speed on the corner and uh, watch him knock this guy out of bounds. Boom. <laughs> what do you got, Ladarius? Gain of five on first down, second down and five. 4.07 to go in a half. Hawthorne, Jackson, and Robbins, the trips. Rolling toward the trip side is Hubbard looking for Hawthorne, ball's knocked down. Double coverage on Tim. 
Run that again, Glenn. I thought he came over his right shoulder and knocked him off of the ball there. Let's watch Hawthorne and see if he doesn't get hit. Pretty good protection there, guys. Well, I can't tell. I really can't tell. Let's go bring up third down at five. Ball's at the 11-yard line. Double tight end set. Robbins all the way out. Robbins with a slant and a touchdown from Hubbard. Beautiful slant route, the same one we had a while ago. Different receiver, Tyler Robbins, big old tall guy. Outstanding catch, beautiful pitch, watch it again. Coming from all the way off the side of your screen, far left, coming all the way across. Tough, if not impossible, to defend that route, guys. Well, he's too fast. He, he just goes off and leaves that cornerback. Hayes on to attempt extra point. Scott Lee with your hold. Aaron failed with your snap. Well, a 17-3 Patriot lead here, 355 remaining. And once you give the inside position to Tyler Robbins, you can give up on it. Wow, what a what a receiver. He doesn't miss anything. He he can really, you get it close to him, he's gonna catch it. That's not the touchdown pass. No. We, we forget he's the one that got tattooed on the punt a minute ago. You talk about mental toughness, and here it is right here from Tyler Robbins. We have so many all-state performers, but I'm going to tell you what, I don't think he takes a back seat to anybody anywhere, anytime. He's only a junior, so people will slight him a little bit, but I, he's all-state. I don't care what anybody says. Well, class act, good, good young man, good parents, good sister. He just one, one of many good citizens of uh, Homewood. Hayes on a kickoff. The Patriots go six plays, 53 yards. In a minute and 11 seconds for the Patriots score. Hubbard to Robbins. High kick coming down deep at about the 11. And a nice running. Daniel Clements, number 33, the sophomore in on the tackle. That's a super sophomore right there. He's got a bright future in front of him. Yeah. Good play, Daniel Clements. Yeah, what, watch DJ Taylor right here dive for him. Pretty good running. The guy jumps him. In. Yeah. Ooh, good hit. McClung also in there on the tackle. Cordaris Rogers, Robert Gentry, you two tackles. Failed and Porter. Your ends. Dorsey, Green, and Galbraith. Galbraith in on the tackle, along with Dominique Porter. Gain of about five or six yards. New look, had Dorsey out there on this uh, outside end. He's shadowing that quarterback, Larry, not letting him get, get away from him. So uh, he's a big old young man. Yeah, he could have decked him there, and he, he did the sportsmanlike thing and didn't. He could have smacked that quarterback and let him know he's there, too. Causey, Michael Causey, the senior in the game at cornerback. Back to live action, shake drop, there's a pump. Causey, yeah. woo! woo! Great recognition by Michael Causey, guys. He would jump that route, he saw that in the film room. Way to go, big man. We've scored on two slant passes. You don't know how to defend this, you be faster than them, and uh, he cuts in there, and I thought he had it, but that was a beautiful play, Michael Causey. Hey, Causey, Causey in it, cornerback, along with Scott Lee. Oliver and Hayes, your safeties. Straight eye, there's a fake, here comes Feld, pushes him inside, and he's gonna be close. Let's see where the spot. I think they're gonna give it to him, good. Yeah, quick, quick, little two nine. Well, they're going to measure for it, and uh, I tell you, that's probably their best play is when he scrambles like that. Very elusive, very, very fast runner. 2.52 to go in the first half, and uh, I'd love to get the ball back right here with, you know, almost three minutes left. He's got a punt. Let's see what this guy's going to do. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. 
If he goes for it, he better, he better pass. Here he goes, they're going for it, Larry. I think they'll try to draw us off sides or something. Did I mention Tuberville earlier in this broadcast? Because this is uh, somewhat. Never heard of it. This is one of his calls right here. Never heard of it. Fourth down and short. Straight eye for the Mustang. Straight quarterback keeper. He got yeah, a little positive it. yard. So nice job. Uh, we got the ball. We got the ball. First down, Homewood. Come on, man. Fumble. Uh, how can you come up with the ball? Uh, got an injured player yeah, here got, for the oh, that quarterback's, the quarterback's hurt. hurt for the Mustang. So first down. Let's go to break, guys. We're gonna take a little break right here as we got an injury on the field, and we're gonna go listen to our friends at Limbaugh Toyota. One stop is all it takes to get Birmingham's best savings on Toyotas. Because Limbaugh Toyota keeps overhead low, we can sell the uptown collection of Toyotas at bargain basement prices. The Toyota you want has never been more affordable. So visit Limbaugh Toyota today, just five minutes from downtown at exit 120 on I-59. Or shop online at LimbaughToyota.com. We'll even deliver your Toyota right to your door. Limbaugh Toyota. One stop says it all. Appreciate our friends at Limbaugh Toyota. And uh, back to live action. Still have an injury on the field. And uh, pretty good first half so far. 214, 241 remaining here. 17 to 3. And uh, we'll take us another little break. And it's a little cool for that red wagon, isn't it, Jody? Well, you definitely have to wear a sweater out there on Palisades Boulevard this time of year. But uh, talked to Lori Zuko and Melissa White today, and they were talking to us about the inexpensive homeowners rates that are available to State Farm Insurance folks uh, this time of year, and uh, some good fall rates and uh, for your home, car, life insurance, health insurance. There's Buddy Way, and there's Lori. Nine four two four 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 four. Only four fours. Buddy Wade, State Farm Insurance, class act. He does a lot for the community and uh, give him a chance to help your family as well. We appreciate Buddy Wade and State Farm Insurance. And what what about a toboggan or something for that head? What do you think, other than a jacket? I look too much like a criminal with a toboggan, so. Uh, you look a lot like a criminal anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know what the toboggan had to do with it. First down and 10 for the Mustangs, new quarterback. Pitch back, and a nice play. Stan the man after about five yards. That guy was almost off to the races. Nice play by Stan. Yeah, they're going to try that again, that, that, almost that long, drawn out, off, way off tackle. That's like the 12 hole, Larry, but uh, they're not going to out quickest to the ends, not our defense. 2-10 to go in the half, and uh, we don't need to see a Stan Hope drive right here, so come on defense, stop them here. Second down in about four. Straight eye, give up the middle. First down, DJ Taylor and Stan Galbraith in on the tackle. So a first down for the Mustang. Well, they're going to a little more con <clears throat> conventional type offense with this second string quarterback running it between the tackles. And uh, got a little life in them here, guys. Let's go, D. Minute 57 and counting, clock running. Their best runner, 32, they just took him out of the game. Balls at the 44 yard line. Straight eye, pitch, coming up is Baker, and he cuts him in. Michael Oliver with a gain of a couple of yards. Way to go, guys, way to shut down that end. Great pursuit to the ball, and the corner is turning back into the pursuit. So uh, watch this. Coming up, Kenny Baker turns him in, and the rest of the game clears his clock. So we got a timeout on the field, minute and 30 seconds remaining for half, 17-3 Patriot lead, and what a great play. We're gonna go talk about the pig fish and Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly has a rich heritage built over several decades by stores that are locally owned and operated. Living in and supporting our communities is how we stay close to you 
our customers. Our reputation is built on quality products and exceptional service with no games or gimmicks. And everyone gets the same low prices. Piggly Wiggly, where's my shopper's meat? See you at the pig. Appreciate our friends at Piggly Wiggly, Andy and Stanley Persiglio. And I think they fed the team breakfast this morning at, at the school and on a, a Veterans Day holiday. Second down and seven, straight drop. Got plenty of time, throwing over the middle. Hayes is there and knocks it down. Nice play by Daniel Hayes. In position, way to go, Daniel. Step for step, did the same thing, just swatted it down. Don't try to be a hero and make some spectacular interception. Way they to go. Two people on sack field, but uh, one hand touches this ball, and that's Daniel Hayes' left hand. Good, good job, man. He swats that ball away. Good play, Daniel. Great shot there of our senior safety. Daniel Hayes, what a great year he's had. Kicker, third down and seven. Double receivers to the far side. Straight draw. Oh. Sam Berry with a first lick. Law with Corderas and Robert Gentry. Guys, if he hits you, there's only one thing that you're going to do, and that's go backwards or down, just like that. He's one of the few guys, when you get hit, you don't look up and say, who hit me? You know. <laughs> they say, that was Sam Berry. I'm at Homewood. Well, the Patriots with the lead, and uh, we're going to take another little break right here. At, right here with minute and eight remaining. We'll take a break and talk about our friends at Porter Tire. There's Porter Tire store at, out on the Bessemer Superhighway. Eddie Porter got all brands of tires and uh, does all kinds of brake work, front end alignment. You know, if you're just not sure if you need tires, or, you know, some coming up on cool weather and uh, to have your tires checked out by Eddie Porter, Porter Tire Service. A great job, shot there of Eddie Porter. And what a great job he does. 12-15, Bessemer Road, 925-4488. Uh, talk, talk to Eddie today. He's headed to the championship game and 115 pound over the, over the mountain league and for the fourth straight year. And what a great job he does. So it's fourth down and about nine. Putt formation once again for the Mustangs. Robbins back at the 10. And Scott Lee with a fair catch. And the ball rolls to the end zone finally. Now, I've seen great ball faking, ball handling before, but he comes up, Tyler comes up, makes for a fair catch signal over on this side of the field. Ball is punted on the other side and barely rolls in. If they'd gone and chased it, they'd have downed it, but great job, Tyler Robbins. Yeah, heady play. It's some of those things you can't coach, Larry. That's just a good football mind. He's grown up with it all his life, and they're all looking at him. Look at all of those guys crowding around to tackle him. And look at that ball, barely uh, rolled yeah. that First down at 10, ball's at the 20-yard line. Out pattern to Hawthorne. There you go. He's out to about the 36-yard line with 50 seconds remaining here in the first half. Patriots with a 17-3 lead. Stayed inbounds, but we're going to stop the clock for the chains. So they're moving the chains. Double receivers each side. Freeman in the backfield with Hubbard, 44 and counting. Out pattern to, to, to Boardman, out to about the 49-yard line goes Wilson Boardman. Anybody that doesn't know this, they practice this almost every day, if, uh, every week in the summers, and uh, they hit Hawthorne first. Now we hit Boardman and uh, put big targets, and they're smart players, get out of bounds, know what to do. Another first down to midfield, 38 seconds remaining before half. Looking for the quick out to Hawthorne once again. It's completed. He cuts up the middle. One guy. He's going to get him down at about the 34-yard line. So 29 seconds. They're going to move the chains once again. 17 to 3. We have to. We can spike the ball, but we're getting ready. We're up there in position, so let's see what we do. It's a great job shot right there. Great running from Hawthorne. Got about six, seven extra. Hubbard with a straight drop. 
Brandon Polk on the slant, across the middle, he catches it. And about the, call it incomplete. Polk lays out, nice effort. Well, it stops the clock, so that's okay. That's a good, good save pass. You can't fault that effort. Brandon laid out perfectly flat to the ground there, and I'm gonna tell you, he gave it everything he had. Nice, nice play. Balls at the 34 yard line. What, what's the effort by Brandon Polk? No oh, short arm man. in there, guys. Just laid it out of the oh, line. Oh, man, that's pretty. So 19.9 seconds remaining. Double receivers each side. Out to, out to Hawthorne. He's got the first down. And, and he's going to call a timeout. We're going to, Patriots going to call a timeout with 12 seconds right here before half. Let's right. stay here. And well, what, what a great drive we got going here. Now make it look easy, Tim. It's a two-minute offense, and technically you can call it, but, man, they're right, marching down it. the field. That's our second timeout. We have one more. 12 seconds remaining here before half. 17-3 Patriot lead. You know, uh, i tell you what, this is quite a drive with uh, – we got when we got that ball. How much time was left? It was about a 55, 56 seconds remaining. 56 seconds. We still have 12, and we're down on the 16 yard line. We're gonna get some points out of this. That's shoot great for, shoot coaching for the, and great execution. Shoot for the end zone once and field goal it. I guess is that the plan? I'm gonna leave that one this time. I'm gonna leave it up to Coach David Jones. There you, you go. go. You Coach got probably game. two, three plays here. You got one more timeout, which is nice. Jody, you played defense. I don't think you need to be worried about the play call. Hey, I played center, too, back in the day. That's why we're all so smart, a bunch of centers up here, you know. Uh, Smartest person on the field, offensive center, Bodine. Uh, Isn't that right? Yeah, on that is. field, I don't know back when you played, though. <laughs> we'll go with Bodine, and we'll have to pass on you. This has been a beautiful drive in the last 40-whatever seconds there. Here they come. Let's watch yeah, it. Good to see so Freeman back, to back live in the game. action. You got Woods and Cole to the near side. Boardman to the far side. Hawthorne trips to the near side. Rolling toward the trips. Looking on the outside. And Woods! Woo! Touchdown! 16 yard touchdown pass from Hubbard to Woods. Wow. Perfection, perfection. What a catch. Turned his body around, got in position. Let's see there. Watch this again. Great protection as we roll the pocket to the near side. Great block by Freeman. And Woods is wide open in the front corner. Big block by the double deuce, guys. He just smeared that guy. Daniel Hayes on the attempt. The extra point. <laughs> Scott Lee with your hole, fell with a snap. Nice, strong kick from Hayes, and it is good. So with 5.3 remaining, 24 to three Patriot lead. You know, the only, let's watch that. Let's watch that touchdown play one more time. And Austin Hubbard is, what a great drive that was. I got an answer to Jody's now. I would call uh, an out pattern to Ladarius in the right corner of the end zone. And uh, let's see if it works. <laughs> oh, hey, great it did. Oh, way to go, Larry. Uh, Jody, I don't know. The only perfection thing, we still got five seconds remaining. Yeah, we ought to be going on in. I don't know. My shoulder feels better. Maybe I need to do some push-ups now, Larry. Let, let's, let's think about uh. this a minute. Six plays, 80 yards in 51 seconds. So a great great drive right there by the Patriots and 16-yard uh, touchdown pass Hubbard to Woods. Boy, that, I, that's just getting it done right there. I mean, you talk about it, you practice it. But that was, that was the real deal, and what a beautiful thing that was to see. So many weapons by the Patriot offense. Hayes on the kick. Ah, real short kick. Smacking. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if he got it back. Time out, time out. We got a shot. I hadn't seen the signal yet. They must have got it back. They're sorting it out. I think they're confused. They, they didn't see it. Uh, I think it's, it's obviously ball. there. So there's 0.9 seconds remaining. Let's watch it one more time. I can't oh. believe he didn't signal for a fair catch. I don't know how he got that back. But. Twenty-four to three. Nine seconds. Nine point nine seconds remaining. Last play of the half. And they kneel down, and the Patriots with an explosion here in the second quarter take a 24-3 lead. We're going to take a break, and we'll see you at the start of the second half. 